Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today we will be diving into the world of C Sharp 12 and exploring how we can simplify our code using type aliases. Specifically, we will be looking at how aliases can be used for any type in C Sharp 12. So, before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button, and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way, you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Using aliases for any type in C Sharp 12. Currently, alias directives can only be used for namespaces and name types like classes, delegates, interfaces, records, and structs. However, with the proposal of C Sharp 12, we now have the ability to use aliases for various types, not just name types or namespaces. This allows us to simplify our code and make it more readable. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at some examples. In the previous version of Shisha, we would use alias for classes and namespace like this using my list is equal to system.collection.generic.list string. So here what I have done, I have used this using alias for classes. Next, using my math is equal to system.math. So here I have used alias for a namespace. So in this example, we have seen how we are going to use the alias my list for the system.collection.generic list string class and the alias my math for the system.math name. This makes it easier for us to refer to these types in our code. Now, with the new features in C 12, we can use aliases for even more complex types. Let's explore some of the possibilities. For example, aliasing a tuple type, aliasing an array type, aliasing a nullable type, and using aliases in method signature. So the proposed feature in c 12 allows us to use simpler and more friendly names for complex or lengthy generic names using aliases, thus making our code easier to read. Now let's see one by one aliases uses for some of the more complex types. So one huge case is aliasing a tuple type. Tuples are the powerful features in c that allows us to group multiple values together. However, the syntax for tuple types can sometimes be complex. With aliases, we can simplify the code and make it more readable. So here we have one example. Using my point is equal to int x position, comma int y position. My point p is equal to 15, comma 20. Here what I have done, console dot right line statement I have written. I am using this p dot x position and p dot y position to printing the value of the x position and y position of this my point tuple, right? So in this examples, we have used the alias my point for the tuple type int x position, comma int y position. Now, whenever we need to work with this tuple type, we can simply use the alias my point, which makes the code more intuitive and easier to understand. Another huge case is aliasing an array type. Arrays are widely used in programming, but their type names can be lengthy and conversion. Let's see how aliases can help over. So here what I have done, I have written using coordinates is equal to int. In coordinates my chords is equal to new int and I have given the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So basically what I have done over here, I have used the alias coordinates for the array type int. By using the alias coordinates, we can make our code more concise and readable. We can also aliases nullable types, which are types that can hold either a value or null. The syntax for nullable types can sometimes be confusing, especially when working with complex types. Let's see how aliases can simplify this. Here what I have done, using nullable int is equal to int question mark. And nullable int is equal to obj nullable int is equal to null. First time I have assigned the value as a null and the second time I am assigning the value as an int value, which is nothing but 5 over here. obj nullable int is equal to 5. In this examples, we have used the alias nullable int for the nullable type int. By using the alias, we can make our code more self-explanatory and easier to follow. Lastly, we can even use aliases in method signature. So this allows us to simpler and more friendly names for complex or lengthy generic types. Here is an example. Using math operation is equal to func int int. Math operation, obj math operation is equal to square. So int result is equal to calculate obj math operation comma 5. Here we have the square method where we are taking one input parameter num. We are just multiplying and then returning the outcome as an int parameter. Right. So basically this square method is going to give us the square value of that particular. So here if you notice I have passed in this calculate method obj math operation which is 
an object of this math operation type right and here if you see this calculate method math operation operation int value basically this calculate method is going to accept two input parameter first one is the delegate type right and here we are passing math operation operation into value right and then this is the operation this operation is nothing but the square method is going to get performed the number that we are passing over in this case we are passing 5 so this operation is going to get executed and 25 value is going to get returned to it that's what it is going to get captured into the result variable wherever we want to use this result variable value we can use that that's why we can use the aliases in method signature order. let's switch to the visual studio and see all these things in action so here we are on visual studio this visual studio is nothing but visual studio 2022 preview so here what i have done so the demo of the using aliases for any type i have created one console application using alias for any type in c sharp 12 that has program.cs in program.cs file i have written these first aliases for this class system.collection.generic list that I have given this my list and my math, which is nothing but the namespace for system.math. So I have given this aliases for classes and namespace. Okay. And then what I have done, I have written this program, and this program is going to come under this namespace my namespace. Under this my namespace, I have written my point alias for tuple type, coordinates for array type, nullable int for nullable type and math operation for delegates. Okay, now if you see this uh, inside this program class, we have this main method where I have just written using aliases for class namespace already available before C sub 12. So here if you see, I have written my list, my list is equal to new my list. This my list is nothing but this one, system.collection.generic list string, right? So here I have just created an instance of this my list and I have adding now I am adding this hello and learn and joy viewers to it. And finally, what I am doing, I am just concatenating these two strings what we have added into this my list using the string dot join method and getting the final string message. That particular message I am just printing into this console. This output should be hello learn and joy viewer. It get displayed when we are going to execute this, right? If you see, I have used this mymath.sqrt. Mymath is nothing but the alias name of this system.math name. Right? So here I am just using this alias name mymath.sqrt20. Basically, this method is going to return me this square root of this number. That number I am storing into this square root variable. Finally, I am printing into this console square root of 25 and whatever the value that we are going to receive, it is going to get printed. The output would be like square root of 25 that it is going to get displayed as a 5.8 now i'm just going to use this alias for the tuple type in c sharp 12. we have already seen we have defined this alias name for this tuple type int x position int y position right and that we are going to use it over here so here if you see i have just created an object of this my point alias then i have given this 10 and 20 value to it so my point variable we are having as a p that p with the help of that p we are going to access this position for x coordinate and the y coordinate that's what i have extracted that value and then put printing into this console window that's what i have written console dot right line x position p dot x push y position p dot y push this is going to get give the output like this x position 10 y position is equal to 20. now if you see i am just using the alias for the array type in c sharp 12. so here what i have given I am writing coordinates. My coordinates is equal to new int 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This coordinate is an alias of this array type that we have already defined here. It right? using coordinates is equal to int. Now that I am using over here coordinates my coordinates is equal to this. So basically, this my code is going to have this int. That int array I am just passing into this print coordinates map as a input parameter. So if you see this print coordinates, what it does. This is the print coordinates. It's basically having this aliases, which is nothing but the of the int array that is going to receive an input parameter, and then we are iterating with the help of for each loop and then printing into this console. That's what this method is doing. Okay, this print coordinates will print the all the number. Now, what I have done, I have written aliases for the nullable type in C. 
I have already used this alias name nullable in for nullable type. That's what we are using over here. Here, what I have done nullable int is equal to obj nullable int is equal to null. First time I am signing the value as a null and then calling this method process number, passing this obj nullable int into it. What this process number method is doing, it is just taking the nullable int and checking number dot has value. If it has value, then it is just printing this number. The number is number dot value, else it is just going to print the no number provided. So, in this case, the first time when we are calling this process number, I am passing null. Basically, this statement is going to get printed, no number provided. Right? Second time, I am just passing parameter is a 5 because I have assigned this obj nullable int is equal to 5 and this one we are just going to pass it right right now I am passing 5 we can pass this variable also over here, like this okay so this one basically is going to pass this 5 value to it when this method is going to get execute then this time this statement is going to print it because this is this time the label int is having some value it is checking number dot has value if if this particular number is having value, so this statement is going to get printed. That's what we will be expecting. This statement should get printed into this console. Okay. Now, if you see, I'm just using aliases in the method signature in C. We have already seen, but I'm just giving you different example. Here, what I have done, math operation, obj math operation is equal to this math operation is nothing but a func delegate that I have already given this alias name to over using math operation is equal to func int int it so here what i am doing i am just assigning this square method you see this square method a square method is nothing but the method that is going to accept int value then returning the square value of it right and that's what this square method is doing here what i am doing i am just passing i am just assigning this obj math operation is equal to a square and here what i am doing i am just passing this obj math operation to this calculate method so here i am just passing aliases in the method signature right so obj math operation comma 5 so this calculate method is going to get executed what is the calculate method calculate method is this one so it is just going to take this operation the operation is nothing but the square method and this is the value that we have passed so operation method i mean square method is going to get executed and return the value as an int that in value we are capturing over here in result variable and printing into this console. Okay, now you have understood the examples. Let me execute this program and show this output. Okay, so output got appeared into this console. You see, it's using alias for classes namespace already available before C sharp 12. So here we got this statement printed, right? Hello, learn and enjoy viewers and square root of 25 is equal to 5. Got print. That printed basically with the help of this man because we have used this my list and here i have added content into this my list hello and learn and joy and we are concatenating with the help of a string dot join method and that message we are going to print that's what it got printed as hello learn and joy viewers here what i am doing i am just using my math dot sqrt method 25 we have passed the value so square root of 25 it is just printed as a 5 for the classes and namespace, we will be having the aliases already before C sharp 12. So that's what I have just showed you how we how we were using earlier, right? For these classes and namespace, and how we can use the aliases for any other type. Here we are seeing this aliases for the tuple type, right? And x position 10 and y position 20 got printed using aliases for array type in C sharp C sharp 12. So whatever the array value was there, we have printed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here we have using aliases for nullable type in C software. First time I have provided as a null. So this statement got printed, no number provided. And the next time I have passed the value as a five. See the number is five, it got printed. Here using aliases in method signature in C sort. So here what I have done, I have just given the number as a five. So it got printed a square of five is equal to 20. So as you can see, the new features in C sort 12 allows us to use type aliases for any type, not just name type or namespace. This enables us to simplify our code and make it more readable. Whether it's aliasing tuple types, array types, nullable types, or using aliases in method signature, the possibilities are endless. That's all for this video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग सी यू नेक्स्ट वीडियो